Come on. It's okay. You're adorable. You're adorable. Come here. You're wagging your tail. I know you want to. You don't even have a... Dude. Are you lost? Huh? Come here. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, alright. Well, what are you doing? I don't know. This little dog literally just walked up. <laughs> no collar or nothing. Are you lost, buddy? Come here. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. Is the camera intimidating? Is that what it is? <gasps> hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah. You're adorable. And you're sporadic. You're so all over the place. Hey, you got a little underbite. That's adorable. <laughs>
All right, and first fish of the day is this lovely uh, something. Not really sure what it is. Some kind of sunfish. I know that much. Came up and just annihilated it. I feel like I'm gonna be catching a bunch of these guys today. They are pretty. So pretty. Not sure if you guys can see it, but that little head popped up right there. That's another northern. Looks like they're out in full force today. And that's exactly what I was hoping to catch here, is a little smallmouth. I hit this little channel right here and it goes deep, so I figured there'd be some smallmouth. There's a fish right there. I figured there'd be some smallmouth kept up in this spot, so might be a lot of these guys, but it's been a while since I caught a smallie, so I'm pretty happy with it. Alright, nice little bluegill on it. Nice, I was getting worried I hadn't hit one in a while, so... There's just so much stuff in this little stream, it's ridiculous. Tell you what, that guy hit it right when it hit the water. I did not even have a chance to reel it in, like, at all. Like, I hit it and I immediately thought I was getting hung up. And there's a whole school of fish right there. I think the further I'm moving up is the bigger the fish are, because I'm noticing it's actually starting to have a current right here, as opposed to just being, like, stopped up and kind of messy down there. So I think we might start getting on some bigger fish, but still, these little guys are just awesome. Absolutely awesome. Tell you what, guys, I love catching these little smallmouth because their coloration, like, look at that. Look how pretty that is. Like, you just don't see that every day. That is awesome. Love these guys. Gosh. I wish I could get some big ones, though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, guys, I did not expect to catch one of these. It's not a largemouth, it's a spotted bass, and you can tell because there's a little patch on the tongue. And uh, that's how you know if it's a spotted bass as opposed to a largemouth, because otherwise they look fairly similar. But yeah, nice little spotted bass. I pretty much hit the end of the line as far as walking up this thing, because there's no real, I mean, I can't go on their property, so. I'm gonna throw out a few times here, see if I can get any more of these guys. And uh, I'll head back the other way, and we'll just try down there. All right, so I moved the opposite side of the stream, and now they get smaller. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. And I am catching the crap out of these little things. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you what, guys, if you ever get a chance, get like a lightweight to a medium lightweight rod. Hit up just some of these little streams. I'm sure everybody's got them somewhere around their house or somewhere close to where they live. And just get a little rooster tail and just have fun with it. <laughs> it's so awesome. Another nice little bitty small mouth, but look at the belly on that guy. He's been eating good. So good. God, and they're all so pretty. God, I can't get over the coloration of all these fish. It's amazing. Alright, there you go. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like the third one in a row that I've caught of these. But they're all small mouth. And he won't stop spinning. Stop it. There you go. There we go, that's a little bit better of a smallmouth. I decided to throw right up there in that stream because I figured that's where they were gonna be at. And sure enough, as soon as they hit the water, he hit it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. God. Sorry guys, I just, I cannot get over how beautiful these fish are, every single one of them. I've yet to see a fish where I'm just like, yeah, you're kinda ugly. Well guys, I just hurt this whole area, flip rocks and everything and uh, nothing. I don't know where these snakes are. Maybe when I hit this patch right up there, should be a lot more rocks to flip and everything, but I'm looking at this little part right here and I'm seeing a ton of little small mouth. So I'm gonna get my rod and uh, try to catch some of those right quick. Now that's what I'm talking about. Finally, a decent sized fish. I wanna say, yep, it's a spotted bass. It's a spotted bass, golly. These guys are great. Yeah, he just came right out from one of those trees over there and just freaking nailed it. He really wanted that. That's gonna be a fun hook to try to figure out how to get out. I think that might be the best smallmouth of the day right there. Not huge, but still. He hit it and he hit it hard. But I think I've reached the end of my limits because my G I'm not trying to get completely soaked because I got, you know, my camera and stuff. And uh, it's already hitting my shorts, and it looks like it just gets deeper and deeper and deeper. But I want to go over there so bad. I'm going to come out one day when I'm prepared for this. I thought I was prepared, but I was not. <laughs> hmm, I'm going to throw it a few more times, see if I can't get any more of these old guys, but we'll see what happens. Alright guys, well, I think I'm going to head on back to the truck, because A, I'm hungry, and most importantly, I have to poop.
and you know, I forgot my toilet paper. So, yeah, I gotta I got poop real bad. It's, it's a problem. It's, it's, it's gotta happen soon. So I gotta get to my truck as fast as I can. Oh my gosh, guys, I threw out one more time and this is the absolute most beautiful fish I have ever seen. Look at that. Oh my god. I want to say it's like a pumpkin seed, I think. I don't know, you guys correct me if I'm wrong in the comments because I'm not really good on these guys. But look how pretty that is. Wow. That is just too freaking awesome. Too freaking cool. Well, guys, we didn't find any... Well, no, we found the one herp. We didn't find any more after that. But we caught a crap load of smallmouth and other fish. And now we know a new little fishing spot whenever the water at the lock is too low. I count this day as a win. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're brand new, don't forget to subscribe. And like I said yesterday, go ahead, put your, com put your questions in the comments below with the hashtag AskJordan, and I will answer them in the Q&A on Monday. And it'll be a separate video from the vlog, I'm pretty sure. I'm still trying to work out how I'm gonna start doing this. But, uh, but yeah. Go ahead and put your comments in the or your questions in the comments. I'm never gonna get that right. <laughs> With the hashtag Ask Jordan and uh, run them all down, I ask them or I answer them all on Monday. I'm so tired, I just need to go to bed. <laughs> Can't though, gotta edit first. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed today. I know I did. We found a nice little new little fishing spot. I'm excited about it. Cause I wanna go out there again like right now. But it's it's really dark outside, so that wouldn't be a good idea. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys bright and early in the morning tomorrow. Good night.